TGen where we're using advanced genomics to solve complex problems such as cancer and Alzheimer's. TGen North is the pathogen genomics division. In Flagstaff, we're using those same tools and technology, but we focus on infectious disease, the microbes, the bacteria, the viruses, the fungi that cause some of the greatest problems around the world. Everybody's heard of DNA fingerprinting. It's done in crime labs, right? We do something very similar to that with pathogens. We use the genetic material that we find in patients, and then we build databases that we search and identify the source. We focus on viruses, bacteria, and fungi, whether it's influenza or MRSA and other superbugs in our hospitals, or some of the really bad things like anthrax and plague, or valley fever right here in our backyard in Arizona we're able to essentially advance the fields of clinical medicine and public health in ways that we didn't even think were possible five years ago. Good evening, everyone. We're going to begin tonight with the anthrax scare. And in 2001, uh, we played a really important part in investigating the anthrax letter attacks. We have one of the world's largest strain collections, and we had the ability to do the DNA analysis. We identified the type of anthrax to a particular strain, and that then led to the conclusion in the very first hours of this outbreak that this was a terrorism event, and that this strain had come from a laboratory. We didn't know then that we would actually be using those techniques now to help solve day-to-day -day disease outbreaks. When a fungal outbreak started to occur in pediatric cancer patients in South America, the Centers for Disease Control was called by South American health officials to figure out how it happened. Once they realized that this was a novel fungal outbreak, they contacted TGen, and we were able to step in and apply this next generation science to help them solve not only how were cases related, but what was the true cause of the outbreak, which turned out to be an anti-nausea medication that was contaminated and unfortunately ended up killing a number of kids. TGen really is a global leader. There's almost no one else that's had the experience working hand in hand with CDC and other health departments to be able to solve these outbreaks over the last few years. Here at TGen, we're working to combat valley fever, the disease that's caused by the fungus coccidioides. We call it coxy for short. Coxie is not just an Arizona problem, and in fact, I consider it a disease of the Western United States. We've been developing a diagnostic in the lab for about the last five years, and we're currently working with a company in Utah to actually bring that to market, and we're hopeful that that will be available in the clinic in the next, say, couple years. We've recently made a great hire, a young woman who's just finished a postdoctoral fellowship at the University of California in San Francisco. She's gonna come in and start studying the microbiome of the nose. So if you ever get those sinus headaches, she's gonna be one of the people that helps us to figure out how to fix it. We're helping to develop what's next, the next generation of clinical medicine, the next generation of public health, and even biodefense. We're developing new tests and new technologies that we know are gonna get put into place in the field or in the hospital over the next five years. So we're helping guide the path for next generation medicine.